So check out this nice little hole that I've been fishing last night. Get a better look at it now. Nice deep hole just in there. As you can see, it's all shallow again up there. Drops off here, nice high bank. Another little hole over there, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'd like to get those as well, but this one's awesome. Check out that. Bit of a gutter, but just more of a nice, nice hole. At least you can call it a gutter. But hopefully that weed stays away tonight. A little bit around at the moment, only because the uh, Tides just turning from low tides, starting to come up again now. But I'm going to reset, get ready for tonight basically. Uh, for that incoming tide after dark, hopefully go for another run and I'll get some rigs ready this time and won't make the mistake of using that uh, Taylor rig again tonight. If I lose Taylor, so be it. Better than having a rig and losing a big mullet. Anyway, we'll uh, see how we go. Oh, I think he's off. Ah. Little chop chop in the shallows there. Barely had that rod out. I just lodged him just out there, just because of the weeds being a pain in the ass, but. Had a little chopper on it. Didn't cut me through, so I'll give him another crack. Another little chop chop is it on. Basically just lobbing this one out of that first wave. I haven't got a big one here yet though. They're all legal but no stompers. I'd expect a few decent ones from here but not yet. Oh just hit that and take one of one of my bloody hooks. Nice little fish, but I have to put a tailor on that one for a bit. Pull in one of my mulloway. So pulled in one of my mulloway rods. Just while I play with these little tailor, while the sun's going down. I hate these gang hooks, but they keep busting through my Mulloway rigs, so... But literally, I am just lobbing this thing out. Just lobbing this out. Just to that little wave right there, basically. Barely even putting any effort into that cast, and they're coming in and smashing it, so. Just gotta wind this one in. Got weed on it. Fighting the weed again tonight, but that's fishing for you. When you get in the mully holes, then you gotta take the weed. The rest of the conditions 
they're bringing on the mollies then it's gonna have to deal with the weed Gonna lob this one out too, not too far. Literally just lobbing it there. Barely even out. Don't need to really brief it out, no point. Just gonna get more weed. Fish are gonna come in for it anyway. I'm in that nice big hole. Income are tied, so they're gonna come in for it. I'll just bait this one up just so it's ready. I won't cast it out yet just while I'm playing with that Taylor rig. But just have it ready to go. Nice juicy fillet on there. Let's see if we can smack another little Taylor. Gonna hold this one because I reckon it's gonna get smacked pretty quick. Up, we're on. Yeah, that wouldn't take long. Ah, another little one. Oh, he's jumping out of the water there. Oh, he's <laughs> gone, is he? Oh, he got off. Oh, well, he's only a little fella anyway. Another little fella. Kept some bait handy this time. We'll uh, see how quick I'll leave that camera roll and see how quick we can smack another one. You see this car, so basically just lobbing it out. Bugger all, not even putting any effort into that whatsoever. No point. They're coming in the feed. I'm only going to get weed, more chance of getting weed on there. Go any further, but it's pointless. I'm not going to catch more fish. See how quick we can hook up this time. Can he just trim the, trim the tail off? Here we go. Yep. What are you on? He definitely took that little chunk out of the tail. And come straight back for it. See that drag is just, just coming out, just keeping that pressure on him, so he doesn't shake those hooks, he's only another little fella, probably about 40 centimetres maybe, but here he comes. Yeah, he's about 40 I reckon. Took that back hook, so he would have trimmed the bit off the tail. Then he's come back and smacked that tail again, what was left of it, and caught that back hook. Typical tailor for you. Hence why they call him Taylor. Uh, nice little chop chop. Made up to go again.
So nice, nice eating size. We're going to keep a few. And if it's hot on again tonight, then at least I've got some fresh fillets there for bait for the mullies tonight. If I don't need the bait, then I'm more than happy to cook them up. Prep them right, they taste awesome, so look at that little bait. Straighten that up. Smack another one straight up. So they've only just defrosted those little muleys. So they're nice and fresh. It's gonna love this to that first wave again. Just lob it right there. And we'll smack another one. Drag set perfectly. Holy shit, we're on. Yep. And I'm about to lose. What do we got? Battery's just about dead. Little Molly. Yeah, little Molly. Yep. Hey, little mate. Where's your mum? Where is your mum? All right, this battery's about to go flat, so. Ah. This one's going in back. I'm not even going to measure it. Nice little mully. Time to get the Taylor rig out. Fresh as. All right. As soon as I put that mullet, fill it on, boom. All right. I've got to get my headlamp, change the battery in this GoPro, put my glow lights on because she's about to really heat up here. Taylor on. Oh man, it's a baby. Little, little one. Little, little one. You going back. It might be legal, but you going back anyway. Oops, sorry. My bad. There you go. You're going the wrong way, mate. You're going the wrong way, mate. Dirty in my camera. And going the wrong way again. Oh, I ain't gonna leave that one out now. Damn it. Are we on or not? Fuck, missed it. That was a good hit. Good hit, but I missed that one. Bait's still good, so I'm going to get him straight back out there. Look at this piss head. Trying to get into my beer. Like a bit of cold and dry, mate.
There's another one out there. That is going to get it. Now I don't have a fucking tailor rig on. <coughs> so you want your drag. Oh, you get hit. You get hit. Yep, we're on. Fuck, man, that hit the water I didn't even get to show you explain get a bit bigger Come on, I'm gonna put you back, just relax. even get the set my rod in the holder and that thing was busting it out of my hands that was crazy oh had the bait still intact let's try that again now as I was gonna say when you're setting your drag, you want to just, just enough, you want it pretty tight, just enough that it won't drag your rod in the water overly fast. Probably eventually you drag it in, if you're not watching it, but you want it, you want it tight. A lot of people say keep it loose, let them run, Mull away or hold the bait in their mouth and they won't swallow it. Maybe in some situations, but what I've found that's bullshit. When they're hungry, they don't they don't stuff around with it at all. They smack it and they run. Most of the time. A bit different in uh Maybe in estuaries and shit like that. I haven't done a lot of fishing in the estuaries or have with the rivers, but some some tidal rivers. Maybe they do that, I don't know, but in the, my experience on the beach. They smack it. You got a loose drag not going to do any favours for you. Now another theory, don't use a light on the beach. Well, as you can see i got a light. A bit hard to fish without one, especially when I fish on the very dark nights. So yes, I try not to shine it on the water, 
Sometimes it does, yes. I'll turn it off when I'm casting, I'm facing that way. But you need your headlight, you need your torch, you need to be able to see what you're doing, especially on these dark nights. So.